43 seconds of logos. I'm wondering, is this a film production company or is it a request? Reading. Wait, what? Okay, I know the books don't matter, and they apparently didn't do shit for this movie's box office, but this is a legendary series, and they boil it down to two half-assed title cards that barely have anything to do with the gunslinger story. I'm already angry at this movie's laziness, and it's not even two minutes into it. Come and play with us. This obvious Easter egg featuring the discount The Shining Twins tells you everything you need to know about how hard this movie's gonna try. What is it with these science fiction planets and multiple moons this close to the planet, but everything somehow turned out to be like Earth? Good news! If you were coming into your Dark Tower experience expecting another Saw movie, you're in luck. Damn, there goes Alderaan again. That planet can't catch a break in any universe. Also, I'm sorry, when this movie told me that the mind of a child could bring the Dark Tower down, I didn't realize it was so f***ing literal. I thought it meant a kid's imagination, or something so simple a child could think of it. But literal laser beams shot out of children's heads? What is causing all these earthquakes? Christ, even the ESPN's doing the quakes now. Sorry, asshole stepdad template character, but there's no f***ing way that's ESPN, considering there's only the bottom crawl and no other adornment. So while it may be ESPN in your mind, this movie wasn't willing to pay for it to be featured. So when's the apocalypse coming? Damn, at this point I'd be shocked if I ever saw a movie based on a Stephen King book that doesn't feature a kid getting bullied. Hey! Hey! Oh. You need to go home and cool off. You know, instead of going to the principal or encountering any consequences for your physical assault on this asshole. Why would this child psychologist have a random framed picture of the Overlook from The Shining in his office? This New York Post headline is about a gas explosion that killed five people. But the story is about a blackout that killed 78. I know that the collapse of the Dark Tower is supposed to bring darkness and fire, but I didn't know it brought mismatched articles involving both of those things. Also, nostalgia exposition. <sighs> Meanwhile, in the Maze Runner, Thomas and Teresa are trying to figure out what went wrong after baking those cookies. I do not aim in my head. He who aims at his head has forgotten the face of his father. The fact that Roland and his dad say this shit out loud seems counterintuitive to the whole we're being hunted, so maybe we should be pretty quiet strategy. Stop breathing. These are highly f***ing trained gunslingers here, and sure, Walter's powerful, but neither Steven nor Roland fired off one shot at Walter as soon as he says stop. It never works on you, does it, Roland? The power you have to resist my magics. Look, Microsoft Word doesn't give me a red squiggly line when I write magics, but my brain sure did when I heard Matthew McConaughey say it. Until next time, old friend. Okay, I understand this is a sequel, or a spin-off, or a different universe, or some bullshit other than the Dark Tower series. So maybe Roland's already very familiar with Walter and his shenanigans, but in the movie version, could he not go after him right f***ing now, and either try to talk to him or f***ing kill him? Jesus Christ. The man in black fled across the desert, and the gunslinger followed. Yep, that was the first line of the gunslinger. Sure, I'm glad I'm being read that line for nostalgia's sake, and not, I don't know, seeing it in action on screen, which is the point of a goddamn movie. Hey. This guy, he's some kind of soldier. He's called a gunslinger. Jake, who knows for a fact that his friend Timmy doesn't believe this shit, knocks on his door and starts rambling about a drawing. I realize this is so we know what these drawings mean, but couldn't we just hear the thoughts in his head rather than have him explain this to a disinterested third party? That's wrong. What is that? What? Pretty sure Jake's mom's only character traits were listed as disbelieving, exasperated, and hot. You're gonna go with them right now, or I swear to God, I will drag you down the stairs myself. Since this is technically a story about the destruction of New York, the movie's kind enough to provide us with a Roland Emmerich father figure. <laughs> Considering what we've seen of Jake so far, does being Jason Bourne fit his character? <laughs> this device, which helps transport people to different places in the universe, uses 1990s modem sounds when it powers on. Also, how did the device know to power on? Does it sense the kids with abilities? Because if it doesn't, this universe traveling device is available to any Boo Radley in Brooklyn. One, nine. This movie is way more Tron Legacy than I think it intended. Midworld. Not to be confused with Middle Earth or Midgard. Your fucking shoe. Look, there's like a million pieces of scrap lumber around here that you could have thrown through the portal, and you went with your fucking shoe. What the fuck explanation is given for the house demon trying to eat Jake here? other than a cheap excuse for some special effects. If there were security measures in place, how the hell was it so easy for him to open the portal? Portal takes Jake to a place that really, really sucks. Why would you travel to this place, only to have to walk through a desert for many days until you find food and water and a reason to live? Movie's only an hour and 35 minutes, but has time for Jake to get briefly chased by an internet meme. New candidate. Female, age 11. By the way, I'm wondering, why go through all the business with pretending you're from some psychology camp to abduct these kids? Why not just take them and drive off in a van to the next portal? Welcome back, sir. How was your trip? Fine. Do we have any new leads? Movie takes the fearsome character of the man in black and reduces him to a discount Moff Tarkin. Unauthorized crossing, sir. One of the old portals on Keystone Earth. Why Keystone Earth? Why not just name the planet something else? Does putting Keystone in front of it make it a different name? Or just show how lazy you are? Love your mask. Choose a pretty face and the world is your oyster. <sighs>
Aligning, sir. Boy, this movie sure really wants to emphasize the portals and rat people and bad parenting. Really anything other than the central gunslinger character. Also, it's amazing that Jake found the one portal that was not only lined up with New York, but was also pointed pretty directly at Roland, with minimal walking required. I guess that portal was also aware of the movie's runtime. Who is he? He's a sorcerer. Huh. I guess Jake thought Walter would be played by a late 90s era Sean William Scott. There's a tribe beyond that forest. We'll go there. They have seers who will read your visions. Roland is looking for Walter, and he stumbles on a kid with visions out in the middle of the desert, and just so happens to be within miles of a tribe full of prophets who can interpret those visions. If we were following Roland this whole time, this would be a deus ex machina of the highest order, and we're seeing it as such. Hate. Neglecting the fact that this is a dick move, if this is possible, I don't know why the man in black has anything remotely like a conflict in his life. Why the f*** is he using a handkerchief to pick this up? Is he worried about the chain of evidence? Matthew McConaughey is playing a true detective here because he is dazed and confused. Didn't one of his employees already tell him that a portal was used on Keystone Earth? And if they know it was used, wouldn't they know where it sent him? So this is where the rat people congregate and get their human masks. But it's got this on the door? Ever heard of f***ing subtlety? House demons are formidable beings, but a truly powerful psychic could override it. Too bad we didn't just put a lock somewhere so he couldn't access the console in the first place. But these house demons unionized back in 76, and they're hard to terminate without going through years of bureaucracy and red tape. <laughs> the place human. Boy, his shine is pure. Boy, it sure is cool meeting all these new characters that have abilities that are specific to the plot and are not further explained in any way. The boy with the shine strong enough to kill a demon. Movie definitely ties into The Shining, which normally I would celebrate, but it really just makes me want to watch The Shining. Sayer. Didn't two skins have trouble with a kid yesterday? Why is this information just now getting to Walter? F***ing seriously. The next scene will probably have a reference to Misery. Then they'll find a way to stick the Shawshank Redemption in here. And if this movie is just long enough, maybe Christine will make it. Why the would an amusement park be located out in a goddamn forest? And if the movie's saying the world has moved on, why is all this carnival still here, relatively intact? All these trees had time to grow, but the marquee maintained its structure. Roland? Damn it, kid, you had one job. If you get murdered by feral inhabitants of a weird landscape, it's on you for not keeping the hell up with Roland. I saw you fight him. That was a field covered with bodies. F***ing went. We saw the field covered in bodies, but Walter just walked up and set a dude on fire. Damn it, movie. If you're going to reference something, at least give us a proper f***ing reference. It's such an honor to meet you in person, sir. I'm sorry, but does Walter seem like the kind of guy who tells his underlings, hey, let's go get a burger when he needs information? Can Name find. location. It's all in here. Magical whack job Walter needs a f***ing dossier in order to find a child, even though he's been shown to be pretty much omnipotent up until now. Outside is endless darkness, full of demons. Walter wants to tear down the tower. When the tower falls, he'll rule. Why does he need the demons to rule? He's already shown that he can get into people's heads and make them do what he wants. And what makes him so sure that he can control the demons when they arrive? What exactly does Walter actually want when he rules the universe? What kind of life can he have then that he can't have now? So how often are they taking shots at the tower? The last time this happened, it caused massive damage. And these kids have obviously been around for a while, so the tower should already be in f***ing shambles. If Roland has such a killing boner for Walter, why isn't he chasing the source of the death ray, which he can clearly see? And since it's happened at least a few times before, what the f***'s taking him so long? Hey, kiddo. Movie has a discount contact moment that's even less necessary than the actual contact. Darkness and fire. So Roland tells Jake that every time the tower is hit, a small tear opens, and the demons try to go through it. But how do they camouflage the red barrier while they impersonate Jake's dead dad? This is still a protective barrier created by the Dark Tower, correct? And if this is just an illusion for Jake, then why doesn't Roland see the barrier when he's looking for him? Someone got out. If this small tear happens every time, then how come there aren't actual demons on Earth wreaking havoc right now? Not everybody's gonna be so lucky to have Roland around, unless this movie's saying the demons only show up on this planet. It's okay. It's gone. Because you shot at it with a regular ass gun? It's a f***ing shapeless demon. It should be bemused at you firing at it. Movie couldn't decide between dark and the shit out of the scene or massive amounts of cuts as the best strategy for obfuscating its CGI and said, okay, let's do both. You handled yourself well. Really? What impressed you? The part when Jake didn't pick up the gun or the part when he ran around and almost got impaled several times? I hope you don't mind me making myself at home. Where I come from, we don't have chicken. Man, you really get the sense Matthew McConaughey had no clue about this character. Just tried a different way to play Walter in every scene. Also, if this scene's being played for laughs, the movie hasn't set up Walter to be this kind of comic relief. If he's doing this to lull Jake's parents into thinking he's normal, well, breaking in and cooking chicken doesn't quite work. If he's genuinely hungry and wants to eat chicken, why didn't he just stop by a KFC before he came here? I'd rather see the cliche where the bad guy listens to classical music, and when Jake's stepdad says, who are you, Walter could just hold up his index finger, indicating a good part is about to come up and he'd rather not be interrupted during Drawings. But what about the chicken? You were putting spices on that shit. That meal is going to burn. The guilt you must feel. Not believing in him. 
But she still doesn't know all that was true, right? All Walter's done is show up, cook a chicken, and kill Jake's stepdad. So she's probably really feeling more annoyed by the breaking and entering than guilty. I know Roland's tired and injured and sh but there is no urgency by his character to hunt and kill Walter. The first half of this movie is a lot of this, sitting around and doing nominal sh instead of being singularly focused on that magical bastard. And do something. Where is this child? He's here, on Midworld. If you didn't know that before you left, how do you know that now? Are you telling me that by walking into his room, you got some sort of psychic scent? And if so, why couldn't you get that same scent when you visited the house where he transported? The only way to access their territories is from one of their own bases. Goddamn, this random small town seer sure does know a lot about the inner workings of a cabal that's trying to destroy the tower. Do they put out a weekly press release? Does everyone know this? Sh as soon as it aligns, it should open in an unobstructed area in your city, on your version of Earth. Aside from the Pennywise thing, is this the first time the movie has even acknowledged the different versions of Earth? Sure, they called Earth Keystone Earth earlier, but there's never been one mention of a version of Earth, and how that works for the whole movie. I guess this first asshole's job was to stand there and look intimidating, so that the other asshole can give this villager a proper backstabbing. Walter pulls a magic marble out of his collection and puts it on a thing, which then gives him this shitty hologram to watch. You'd think the fine marble would translate into a picture quality that's better than a VIC-20 computer, but you'd be wrong. Also, why isn't Walter on this mission to capture the kit? Since Jake is so special, you'd think someone like Walter would want to be there, in case anything goes wrong, especially considering what he believes Jake is capable of. Hang on, Walter's minions said they were gonna... Send our trackers in the region, sir. Whom I guess we're on vacation? and only pillagers were available? This attack started without us knowing exactly who these rat people are or anything about their abilities. We barely even know anything about the people in this village. This scene is dark, moves around to multiple locations, and is flash edited to death. This movie itself is probably telling the director, get on to the next scene already. <laughs> so, have they fired the guy that suggested that the Dark Tower movie should include a bunch of orcs punching Stringer Bell yet? What are you doing? Quiet. So wait. He can't tune her out, but he can tune out all the other loud noise that's going on around him so that he can hear Jake's abductor running away? I like how this whole scene is contingent upon Roland being able to tune into Jake's frequency and being able to sonar his abductor's height from 100 yards away. Had the movie focused on Roland instead of trying to be the next divergent maze potter, we'd be able to understand his abilities better. As is, the movie forces you to swallow how impossible this shot is without a bit of context. Come on. Walter alerted all those trackers where Jake was when he started to shine, which led to his capture in the first place. So why aren't the rest of them attacking them right now, when they're walking through the middle of the f***ing village? Portal alignment complete. Look, I know they fixed this thing using spare parts or some sh but before the attack, it took forever for this portal to power up. So you're telling me that during this attack, they were able to fix the machine no problem, and were able to power it up in record time? I think they're gone. But Walter was watching the whole f***ing thing unfold on his magic ball vision thing. Did he just turn that shit off immediately after the first tracker picked up Jake? I see the eyes of all six are kicking in. Apparently a stab wound from an evil demon from the nothing will respond to regular f***ing antibiotics. What is this? Sugar. So is this a product unplacement? Or is it the unproduct placement? How are you going to find the portal? New York's a pretty big place. Can't you just have a vision about it? There was no real rhyme or reason as to why your shine gave you a vision of the other one, since it was apparently a house run by Walter and his minions. So why hasn't it given you directions to the new portal? Key, key. Keystone Earth. All you have to do is search an entire planet. You're sure to find Jake in a matter of hours. I know, I know. New York is the base of operations on Earth. But why is it the only one? You're trying to cast this wide net to find children with abilities, and you narrow it down to just New York? Hey, remember me? Fancy that! They found that homeless guy from earlier. What are the f***ing odds? Even though his vision comes in well after he notices the ashes, Jake somehow immediately knows those ashes are his mom. This is what he wants. He's tracking you. Walter has trackers all over the city, but he has nobody at Jake's home address. And he knows Jake and Roland are on Keystone Earth, so why isn't he already here? God damn this movie and its inability to logic. What about the tower? Funny, the screenwriters asked this question after realizing they'd written 75% of a Dark Tower movie that has very little Dark Towering in it. I aim of my eye. Look, I know New York City has its crime problems, but they're in lower fucking Manhattan shooting incredibly loud guns in a warehouse, and nobody notices. Did you miss me? So Walter is projecting himself inside this gun store using one of his fancy marbles. If he can make a projection like this look so good, why were the images for the village attack a certain shade of hologram puke green? Fire away. It's not me! I'm not doing this! Since when do any of the people Walter possesses know that their actions are not their own? And considering the command, why would he stop to tell him this when everything in his body should be compelling him to repeatedly fire that gun at Roland? Oh, so Walter and his minions do employ windowless vans for abductions. Why did they try that other method again? Damn, looks like Jake's got a super high midichlorian count. Of course, no movie is complete without the everyone runs to get their guns from the weapons locker scene. 
I guess he's out of bullets then? And since when is the gunslinger the Incredible Hulk? I know Roland is a badass gunslinger, and there's no way he's gonna die, but there were a million henchmen all over the place with automatic rifles, and the fact that they stop shooting as soon as Roland appears, allowing him to take them all out with two six shooters takes me right out of this fucking movie. Roland briefly becomes Batman in the middle of this fight. <laughs> what was this asshole expecting to happen? You killed my mom! Now I have to put up with this in non-comic book movies? Roland not only survives this, but the bus driver continues to drive. Oh my god, it's the kid. He's keeping the portal open! Keep in mind that Jake has had very little chance to hone his shining skills, but sure, he can keep the portal open using only his mind. I thought Shine was more psychic than telekinetic, but it's a movie, so I should really just relax, I guess. Also, wow, that magical technological doohickey that focuses the kid's power sure is handy for also telling you who's keeping a portal open f this movie. Roland does not shoot or aim with his hand, nor does he kill with his gun, because something something is father's face. So how come the bullets are hitting rocks and not the spaces between the rocks? I mean, this is a cool Sith trick being played by Walter, but it has about an 85% chance of f***ing this all up. Also, Darth Wooderson. Movie makes it seem like this would be any worse than crashing through a window and falling a couple stories into a bus, which is something that definitely happened two minutes ago. Anyway, Roland survives this too. I do not kill with my gun. During this long, long, long Gunslinger's Creed scene, Walter apparently can't walk 20 feet to officially end Roland. Wait, does reciting the Gunslinger Creed make the second bullet travel faster than the first bullet? When your facility is primed to explode just because the mind control machine takes a bullet? You chose the wrong architect. So I guess all those children that were living in the village directly next to this exploding building are dead in this happy ending? Why don't you come with me? You have nothing here. The f man? I know his mom's dead and all, but Jake still has, like, grandparents and aunts and uncles and friends and shit. Maybe at least stop by the apartment to get his toothbrush? You're gonna go with them right now, or I swear to God, I will drag you down the stairs myself. Well, you know my name is Simon, and I like to do drawings. Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Do we have any new leads? And I want the good leads, huh? The Glen Gary leads. Two leads, a hundred bucks. Hey, kiddo. Is it really you? Yes, my dear. Daddy. Fool you. See her? Eaten, broken body, soaked in her blood. Now imagine she's white. For the court of the crimson. I immediately regret this decision. You killed my mom! Yes. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs>